Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You probably have a business card. Even if you don't have a business, you likely have something that you hand to people when you meet them at trade shows. And I was just at Macworld, and on the floor, I ran into Dymo, which apparently is uh, the company responsible for card scan. Now, I've had a card scan scanner for a while. Uh, I had the uh, Windows software, and this was years ago. And when I used it, I ran into a, a few headaches uh, with it, and the software was very, very extremely difficult to use. So I, I just kind of, you know, stored it. I still have it, you know, sitting around. I just don't use it because the Windows software was really bad. So at Macworld, uh, they were showing off their card scan software for Mac OS X. And, of course, I stopped by, and I was watching the demonstration, and they said, hey, wait, I, we know who you are. We've seen your live video feed. I'm like, you have? I'm like, yeah. I said, like, oh, cool. I said, well, the last time I used this, it was years ago, and the software was kind of meh. And they said, well, do you want to, you know, review the, the new version, new hardware, new software for Mac OS X? I'm like, yeah. So they handed me the box, and they said, you know, give it a shot. Let me know uh, what you think. And I said, oh, okay. Um, and uh, so I did. And I installed it just a few minutes ago, and installation on Mac OS X was a breeze. Uh, you drag and drop the application into your applications folder. That's how you install programs on Mac OS X. Um, and then you plug it in by mini USB, the, the hardware, and that's it then you scan business cards. And uh, for the most part, I can say that the software is easier to use. It's certainly a cleaner experience than it was on Windows. Uh, and this is how you do it. You set the card in, into the tray. It'll automatically pick up that there's a card there. Scan it in. Pull it up here in the preview. Uh, rotate it, crop it. And then uh, show you where it has all the information. So it maps it to certain fields. So let's see here. Got the company, got the name, got the address, phone, fax. It Wow. This is a small uh, font size on this card, and it still, it still picked up the web address, um, several web addresses, as a matter of fact. And even better, the software, you can click the icon in the, if, if there's an address. And the icon for the address, and if you didn't see the uh, preview here, I was playing with it earlier, uh, it'll map you to it in Google Maps. It'll pull it up right there. And, of course, it, the email links off to you know whatever your default email program is or the web address going to uh, the corresponding uh, website. So, of course, you want to verify the information. Uh, none of these technologies are perfect. I mean, it's using uh, OCR software, uh, and if you have OCD, you're probably going to freak out. But, you know, consider that you would normally throw these business cards into a drawer and keep them there forever. And then when you went to find a card, you said, well, I remember seeing them at Macworld, but gosh, they're all in the same box. How am I going to find that card? Well, with the software, you can organize and categorize by where you met this particular contact, and you can tag and, and, and remap and what have you. Uh, of course, again, verifying each card, maybe en masse or as you do them, that's probably the, the better way of doing it, uh, so that you've got all the information stored, at least in that particular database. And if you're more of a visual person, like for me, I'd say, well, I remember meeting this Chris Perillo guy who had that orange business card. Uh, I, I remember it was orange. I remember that. And, and, and I can't find it in this list. And I'd be browsing for it forever. No, that one was red. Well, the software, at least on Mac OS X, has cover flow. So check this out. I can browse all the business cards like I'm browsing cover art in iTunes. So it's got cover flow for your business cards. And I, I, I'm a visual learner. So this particular feature is very welcomed by someone like me. Uh, you know, it's, it's done a, a fair a job at, at uh, taking information that could be anywhere on a business card and at least inputting it into the software. Uh, it wasn't perfect uh, with cards uh, that had a darker background. I mean, that's kind of a trick and a half. Uh, but, you know, nothing's perfect, and I'm sure they will continue to improve uh, their algorithms and, and continue to tweak, uh, you know, as, as time goes on. Uh, I, I, I launched the app for the first time, and it, it told me right away, hey, there's an update available, installed it. It was easy. Um, you know, I'm kind of used to easy stuff and 
when it comes to Mac OS X hardware and software. So uh, yeah, my review is very, very positive and I will be scanning the rest of these business cards uh, into this particular application and then possibly keeping them there. Might import them into my full-on address book. Um, but that way, when I'm searching for a name or a company or whatever, I don't have to go digging through the drawer. I can go right to this application and, and browse to it, uh, it just almost immediately. So thank you for uh, allowing me to uh, test the, the, the hardware and the software for the Mac. Uh, if anybody out there is looking to pick up a card scan, uh, you can go to tagjag.com slash card scan, and all the links will be there. Uh, and if you're looking for a coupon, I may be able to uh, hook you up. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Of course, if you uh, want to post your own hardware or software reviews, you're more than welcome to in our community at geeks.perillo.com. And then uh, we've also got this chat room here uh, that's a part of this live video experience that I'm doing right here. Doing this live video experience is how the card scan folks found out about me. They just knew about me. Made it so much easier to talk to them and explain to them what I do. They knew what I did. So much easier when they know what you do. But if you want to see what I do, you're more than welcome to because I'm streaming my life online 24 hours a day, 7 days a week in conjunction with this chat room, which is typically talking tech, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.